Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your person or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the two of cups in reverse. So I do feel that this is someone you may be in separation from. Ooh, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is someone who still really loves you, Leo. And they're viewing you as the page of pentacles in reverse. So not taking action, not communicating, um, and also like that you might be in your head about this connection, like you're just not sure about it. Okay, what you're not seeing is the Queen of Wands in reverse. This person might be really triggered or have a bit of a temper, but I'm also seeing this could be a third party. And your advice here is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse to continue on your path. You're not meant to give to this connection or take action just yet. Yeah, this person wants to come out of the cold with you, but it's like they could be dealing with someone else um, or they're still kind of angry or upset about something or kind of triggered about something. So I feel like, Leo, like your, your energy is like keep doing what you're doing. You're not meant to be giving to this connection right now. They, it feels like maybe this Queen of Cups needs like owes you an apology or they need to be the one to like reach out, make it up to you. So why do we have the two of cups here in reverse? Wow, three of pentacles. There's some sort of third party intervention. Not for all of you is it going to be a romantic rival, but it could be work, it could be family, it could be bad advice. Ooh, it could be an ex too. The queen of swords in reverse is somebody, I think your person might be stuck in some sort of karmic contract with someone, or maybe they let like an ex run the show, or a family member or something. This is definitely a lower vibrational energy. See, what's sad here though is this person loves you and wants to be with you, Leo, but hmm, it feels like they really need to boss up here. So let's see, Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, this person has a third party here around them. And I think a lot of my Leos, you probably already know that. It's probably why you sent them packing. You know, like I don't know if they just let their meddling ex get in the way. Um, for some of you, this person maybe has tried to get away from this person, but they might have children together and really have stayed devoted to that. Wow, this person is definitely dealing with some tough past life karma here with another connection. I don't think it's with you. I do feel this is an ex of yours, but I feel like they've got some, I don't know, they're dealing with somebody who's just really got a hold on them possibly dealing with a third party like narcissist or somebody who's abusive, but they can't seem to, yeah, there's a codependent relationship here. I don't think it's with you though, Leo. I feel like it's with somebody they might have children with or somebody they're married to. Oof, yeah, and I feel like that's why Spirit's saying, you know what, Leo, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -mm. This person needs to clean up their side of the street. They need to break free from something. Obviously, if this person, if, you've see, if you have dealt with them and you have your doubts about whether or not they're good or they're like a narcissist or something like that, I mean, it could be their energy that, you know, they're, they're quite self-centered, possibly, you know, and I'm not a psychologist, I can't, you know, make any sort of diagnoses here, but it's like, I just heard borderline personality. So, I mean, I feel like that's actually more the person they're dealing with than, than this person. But again, trust your intuition. They see you as not communicating, not taking action towards them, and I can see why, but they are, they're, they're stuck on you, Leo. This person's like a little bit obsessed is what I'm getting. They're very physically attracted to you, and I just heard that like they probably tell you, and it's probably true, that the best, you know what, of their life was with you or has been with you. They see you as somebody who's got it all. They see luxury, they see, um, they see stability. But there's this third party energy and I, I don't know if it's an aspect of them, like a temper or like self-centeredness, impulsivity that gets in the way, but I don't think so. I feel it's like an ex or somebody they're dealing with. Page of Rods and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Leo, I think this person's going to break free. Now, of course, 
it's going to be up to you whether or not you want them or not. But we've got the king to the queen of pentacles. We have the king and the queen of swords both in reverse. So for a lot of you, they are breaking free from this past situation, maybe even past bad habits. They're taking a leap of faith towards you. That's what I'm getting. They want to offer you the world. They've been waiting for the right time. But I do feel like family, like they might have children with this past person, or maybe you have children with them. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? This person wants to reunite with you. You're not going to be sure. You're not going to be so sure, Leo. That's what I'm getting, because I feel like you kind of have a long and sordid history with this person, or what you saw kind of left a bad taste in your mouth. You do have an unexpected offer. I'm, I mean, I really do think you're going to get a message from this person, Leo, that like I've left my my person, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. I want to be with you. But I kind of feel like you might be a little bit triggered by that. Gosh, and we see we see all of these pairs, the queen and the king of rods, both in reverse. So I'm wondering if you two did, you know, there was bickering, fighting, arguing, and drama between you two. But what's interesting is the king and the queen of pentacles are in the upright, which is about stability. That's like the ultimate power couple. So I do feel that for a majority of my Leos, and bear with me, I hope this hasn't been too confusing, but for a majority of my Leos, this person has some sort of crazy ex or partner that they're dealing with. And I, I feel they're gonna break free because they want to reunite with you, but you have to make sure that they're really, really free, like that, that, that door is shut. For some of you, it might not be possible because they have children with this person. Um, but let's see what we need to know. You're, some of you, this person is consulting um, a judge or lawyers to actually have the divorce take place. Um, this person, I feel, wants to do the right thing. I feel like they're fair. This, to me, is indicating, though, for Leos, those of you who are dealing with somebody who's, who has financial, legal obligations, familial obligations to someone else, that they are doing that work, consulting a judge or a lawyer to get a divorce or going through with it. Okay, and, but we also see here too that your person, in, because this card wants to come out in the shadow attribute, has a compulsive need to keep moving on. So again, they, they're also, there is that energy of like not, like wanting to do the right thing, but even at their own expense or at their, at their, at the expense of their own health or happiness. For some of you, it's like that compulsive need to continue dealing with this toxic energy. But for a lot of you, it's because they have children or they have some obligations with that person. So I would ask you to be compassionate in that, in that case. But again, you, you do what feels right, Leo. If they're not available or if it brings you too much drama, you know, sayonara, ciao. Um, all right, let's see what they like about you. Ooh, all right. So... Um, that you maintain symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Yeah, but they definitely don't see you as a virgin, Leo. And I don't want you to be insulted by that because I do get that this person physically is like completely fantasizes about you or the last time you were together. But they also love that they know that aspect of how passionate and how hot things are between you. But, you know, on the outside that you're <laughs> that you that you maintain your composure and a very sweet energy about you. So I'm getting like the lion and the lamb. Um, all right. And they also love that you're a little rebellious, that you challenge authority. Um, some of you might be like social justice warriors or you just really speak your peace. You stand up for those that maybe can't stand up for themselves. Um, yeah, and that you're a rebel, that you do things your own way, okay? You do things your own way. So let's see what else my Leos need to know about this person or about this connection, please. What else do my Leos need to know about this person or this connection, please? What else do my Leos need to know about this person or this connection, please? Yeah, there's definitely that third party interference and it, and it sucks. I mean, that's what I, I mean. I hate to be so blunt, but it does. It sucks. It's like there's somebody here that's like just really, really tough to deal with. And it feels like it's on their side. Yeah, that keeps sabotaging this relationship or maybe this person keeps going back to them or just hasn't totally broken free. But it's like they're working on it. They're working on it. 
and they, they're working on coming back around to you. So Leo, it's going to be up to you. You might be a little bit triggered by it, like, you know, not again, or I've already told you, or, you know, we've been through this so many times, but this person's heartbroken without you, Leo. And I do feel that if they are coming back around, whether you want them to or not, but at the same time, you know, the choice is going to be yours. The choice is going to be yours if you want to deal with them, if you want to work on things here. All right, so I wish I had treated you better. So they definitely have regrets about the past. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I don't think sometimes, I think it's every night. And I knew exactly what I was doing. So they're definitely coming in with an energy of an accountability. They wanna share their good news with you, Leo. So for some of you, they're sharing this news that there's either been a judgment made in their settlement, divorce or separation, or that they've you know contacted lawyers. All right, so let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos regarding this connection. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please. All right, so you're going to get an unexpected message or offer from this person. Maybe some of you have already written this person off. Yeah, so keep following the path of ascension, Leo. Keep doing you. Don't put your life on hold. This person's going to shock the you-know-what out of you. And wow, yeah, this person is yearning for your physical touch. Um, but, you know, love yourself first, Leo. See if they have what you need. See if they're fully available. You know, is this something that you want to pursue? Because I feel the ball is completely in your court, okay? So, Leo, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Leos. Take care.